In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use UV texturing in Cycles Render. So we're going to do something like this, where you can basically put on textures in different spots. So um, start off with a new document, and I'm just going to actually just save it as the same thing so I am connected to uh, my textures, and just like that. So what we're going to do, I'm going to press X to delete that. And then I'm going to create a new plane, S scale that a little bit bigger, go into edit mode, and I will go ahead and subdivide that a couple times. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on into uh, Cycles Render. So from Cycles Render, it's a little bit different to add in your textures so I'm going to start off by just clicking on the materials and I'm going to go to new and this instead of just doing it the other way I would just go to color change that to image texture we'll go ahead and open that texture so I'm going to do this grass texture and now I need to assign some certain spots for that. So in face mode, if I just select the ones that I want to grab, and I'm holding down shift so I can select, and there's other ways to do this too, um, multiple pieces. So now that I've got that on there, uh, let's switch over to this material mode to see what's going on. So right now it's not really showing up, so I need to come over to default and go to UV editing. I'll go to mesh and I'll go into unwrap. So that'll unwrap it. Bring, click on that little icon and choose grass. And now let's see what's going on. So now it's starting to show up. And if I want to make it a little bit smaller, or tie it a little bit different, press S to scale, and make that bigger or smaller. So that gets the first texture on there. Let me put another texture. So I'm going to grab these guys now, and I'm just going to grab a line and add a new material, assign that material. And then, I, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to new, do another texture. So color, go to image texture, open up my texture that I want to put on there too, and click open. So that'll place that on there, and then same type of thing. I'm going to go ahead and go to UV Editing, and I'll go ahead and unwrap that, and change that so I can actually see the texture I'm using, and press S to scale on that. On this one, I actually want to rotate it too, so if I press R, and then press 90, that'll rotate it 90 degrees. Then if I want to use that same texture over here, I'll go ahead and do the same. So I need to actually jump over here and back to default and assign those to that same material. And I can jump back over here, UV editing, and mesh, unwrap, and then I'll do the same with that S to scale to get it about the same. And then I'm going to rotate that, so R, and then 90. And then I can look at it back in my default. And that'll put me my textures laid out, and that's how you do it in cycles.